Hello, Internet! Alvarez here. And today, uh, today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, because, you know, part of what I do, or what I try to do with this whole collecting Mega Man stuff is to preserve the history and the legacy of Mega Man. That's why I call this series Legacy Collector. So... And that entails sometimes doing weird things <laughs> that you're about to see in a second, like having multiple versions of the same game. For example, this is Mega Man X4 uh, for PlayStation 1, obviously. Um, and uh, of course, if I'm gonna have Mega Man X4, I also have to have Rockman X4, right? Because, well, yeah, it's exactly the same game, but it um, it's the Japanese version versus the American version. Uh, even though the game is exactly the same, to me, uh, having both versions is relevant because, again, this two different things, even though they are they represent the same thing, uh, when you put them together, they represent a wider part of the legacy of Mega Man games, and they are both part of the Mega Man history. You can't just say, oh yeah, Mega Man X4, I got this, uh, I got Mega Man covered, uh, well, yeah, but if I have two of them, uh, I have, sorry, I have to have both versions because both of them are part of the history. The game wasn't just released in the US, it was also released in Japan. In fact, it was released first in Japan because these are Japanese games. These games are made in Japan. And speaking of release, of course, there is more to this because the game was re-released um, under the brand uh, Greatest Hit. Um, this is something that Sony used to do with PlayStation games. I don't know if they still do this today, but essentially if a, if a game sold very well on PlayStation, they will re-release the game under the Greatest Hits brand. So um, I believe this will be at a cheaper price. So that, again, if you missed it the first time, um, if you missed it the first time, you can still enjoy the game. You can st you still get a chance to buy it. Uh, the game is essentially exactly the same. You don't get that much difference. Well, you can see that there are some minor differences here and there, like this color is different and uh, these colors are different. But um, overall, it's exactly the same game. The idea, again, is that you have access to the game if you missed it the first time. And again, this is part of the legacy. This is part of the history of Mega Man. And um, now I have three copies of the same game. Uh, but there is more to that because, of course, Sony did the exact same thing in Japan. Uh, this is the uh, this is Rockman X4, uh, the PlayStation, the best for family version. Now, this one is a little bit more interesting because uh, you can probably see that the dual case is a little bit bigger. Um, it's, um, where is it? Like, so you can see it's a little bit taller and it's also, it's a, it's a little bit wider. Um, and that's because this particular version at the time came with two discs. Uh, one is the actual game. Again, no difference between this and this or this, um, or this, but uh this other game this other disc here is uh you probably recognize this uh rockman dash uh that's Mega Man legends this is a demo that was circulating all over the place at the time where Mega Man legends uh was a new thing uh capcom was pushing really hard for Mega Man legends uh there is no any indication here as far as i can tell that yeah this is a two disc version of the game also um the manuals tend to have minor differences here and there like for example, uh, wait, um, sorry, I don't have any manuals here <laughs> other than this one. Um, well, one of my biggest gripes actually is that you can see this is the Japanese manual. Uh, it's very nice. It's in color. There are screenshots and there is a lot of information and they are trying to make it look cool and very attractive and whatnot. That's so they put actual effort behind doing these things, but, um, if you look at the American manual, um, you'll see. I don't know. I don't know why th this is. 
Oh gosh, this is, has always been a thing on PlayStation and in consoles in general. I'm, I'm trying to get this thing out. Oh my goodness. All right, finally, after half an hour of... Oh, no, or maybe not. There you go. So, finally, after half an hour of jiggling this out. Uh, this is the English manual. Uh, black and white. Uh, not so much text. It looks more like a user's manual. Like, they are not trying to make it cool for the kids is they're more tr they're trying to make it more informative and of course you have the registration card you have to have these ones <laughs> um yeah no screenshots just text and more text i guess they know nobody's gonna read these things and that's why they do it this way but yeah look at how not creative this looks um yeah but again part of the history of Mega Man, so that's why i make sure that i get the different versions so that I can see, um, well, so that I can preserve the history. Like, like this is how it came during the uh, when it came out in the U.S. And this is how it came out in Japan, and uh, yeah. So you end up buying multiple copies of the same game, but that's not all. There is more because <laughs> they did the same thing again in Japan. <laughs> So they re-re-release Mega Man X4 under... I, I thought this was the PlayStation the best for family brand, but apparently it's not. Uh, you can see this is this is way thinner. This jewel case is way thinner than usual. This was also a thing that was going on with PlayStation in Japan. If a game sold very well, uh, Sony will re-release it like this in a very thin, very cheap... Um, uh, a very cheap, uh, you know, what's the name for this, cost-efficient version, so that, again, they can give you a better price, and if you miss the game the first or the second time, the first or the second time, you still get another chance at it. You can still get Mega Man X4, so you have no excuse. <laughs> um, and also, well, uh, they are not, the manual is not supposed to slide down like that, but yeah, these came like this. You, the manual was thicker than what could be uh, put inside the jewel case, so what they will do, it, they will just, like, um, put a plastic envelope on top of the thing, and yeah, that's what you get, a very thin jewel case, the game, and the manual. At least they are giving you the whole thing. And that reminds me, there are some minor differences here and there with the manual, for example. Um, well, first of all, if you look at the backs, they are definitely different. Um, again, the game is exactly the same. Why do I want two versions? Because I want to preserve the history. There was one version that came with a manual that looked like this and a manual that looked like that. The, the insides are pretty much exactly the same, except that the copyright notices and whatnot. So if you look at this, you can see that they change the bottom here a little bit, but the rest of the pages are essentially exactly the same. There is no big difference, except the very end of the manuals. You can, again, you can see here, if you look at the very end, uh, they made some minor changes. So to me, this actually means something. It's part of the history. It's not like the games where the game was just released like this or like this, and that was it. Um, and that's why I end up having five versions of the same game. But wait, because there is more. Because Mega Man X4 was also released on the Sega Saturn. And uh, yeah, and this came on a completely monster <laughs> version, monster sized jewel case. Yeah, you can almost fit. Uh, two CDs on this one and of course uh, if you look in the into the insides bloody hell uh, there you go um, first of all I think all Saturn games come with this little sponge thingy uh, I don't know why that why why that is but yeah you can see there are these little notches here um, especially designed for this little sponge again does this make any difference I don't know but uh, one primary difference is that... Oh, you can see the camera right there. Hello, camera. You see the camera? Hello? Oh, camera? Camera? Hello? Camera? Oh, whatever. Um, 
you can see these discs have the bottom um, in silver color, which is what you will expect on any CD. But uh, PlayStation discs, for some reason, are black. Um, I think it has something to do with the laser they used on PlayStation consoles, that this makes them last longer or something like that. I don't know for sure. But yeah, well, that's one minor difference. And again, it's part of the history of Mega Man. And that leads me to talk about the manual. If you thought the American version of the PlayStation manual was uninspired, uh, well, this one, this one isn't any better. So it's essentially the same thing, just in a more vertical format, again, preserving the history of Mega Man. And this one says top secret here for some reason. <laughs> um, Oh no, I'm not gonna spend another half hour trying to get it out, but yeah, the, the, the previous one did not say top secret. Beats me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's essentially the same thing, just text, text, and yeah, some images here. Again, they, these are the same images, just in a little more vertical portrait format, if you will. Uh, and of course, you have your registration card. You have to have this. You can't not have a registration card. So yeah, I ended up with six different copies of the same game because I want to preserve the history of Mega Man. But there is more. Because of course, I have to have the Japanese version of the same game. This is Mega Man X4 for Sega Saturn in Japan. Um, it's essentially the same game as Rockman X4 for PlayStation 1. No difference, but you can see that uh, definitely the back has changed a little bit. Uh, the colors are mostly the same, but the background is black on Sega Saturn. I don't, I don't know if this was an artistic decision by Sega at the time. Um, it seems like most of their games came like this. Um, again, I don't know, but... Yeah, if you look at uh, where's the yeah, this is the original version, and then this this is the re-release version, and then this the re-re-release version. They all have the white background, but yeah, for some reason this has the black thing. And uh, if you look inside here, the manual is essentially oh by the way yeah, the disc looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Um, let's look at this. Yeah, a tiny little bit different. Uh, again, part of the history of Mega Man. So I have many, many versions of the same game. And I want to make sure everybody remembers. But yeah, this is pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, they changed the front and the back a little bit uh, to make up for this. Uh, at, some, at this point in time, Capcom was promoting this lady. I don't know who she is, but I can see her in multiple games. Um, manuals for Capcom games but yeah look at this this is so inspired and of course the manual has this section for the controller which is different in Sega Saturn because of course it's a different console uh, but everything else is essentially the same thing um, so yeah <laughs> um, I have to have this history of Mega Man but there is more because Sega also did the Sony thing. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, this is the equivalent of the greatest hits on Sega Saturn, or if you prefer, the equivalent of the PlayStation The Best for Family. Yeah, Sega also did the thing where if a game is popular, they will re-release it under the Sega Saturn uh, collection brand. Um, again, essentially same game, but it's part of the history of um, Mega Man, and I want to make sure that I, I am uh, preserving the history. That yeah, I don't want. I, I want everybody to be able to know that all of this happened. That all of this was a thing um, at the time, at some point in history. Um, and yeah, and that's. I don't know. I I, I feel that this is important at least it is important to me i know that it doesn't matter these were video games <laughs> it's all gonna be dust someday so who cares well personally i do i do care for these things uh, to me this matters and that's why i keep doing this and i'm gonna keep doing this so yeah but wait 
there is more. Because the game was so popular <laughs> that they released a special limited pack. Is the camera even focusing? Yeah, that's better focused. Yeah, a special limited pack of Mega Man X4 for the Sony PlayStation. Uh, uh, yes, I'm pretty sure I can. I've opened this before. I just don't know even where to begin. But yeah, um, so don't worry because there is more. <laughs> because they did the same thing on the Sega Saturn. Why wouldn't they? Hey, Sony did it. Why Sega wouldn't? Uh, yeah, this one is open. It's a little bit easier to open. So let's check this one out, shall we? Uh, essentially, you get the game. Uh, and you know, really hard to... Oh, goodness. Uh, there you go. You get the game. Again, same game. But this one says... A special limited pack something. And yeah, the game is exactly the same. But... Is part of the history of Mega Man. This was Mega Man X4. This was something that happened. So it's important that we uh, represent it. And you also get this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all of this. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be doing this, but essentially, this is a Plastic Zero model. If I recall correctly, this is supposed to be Zero. Um, that's what you see here in the... somewhere. Uh, yeah, somewhere in here it says, yeah, you get a zero plastic model. I don't know, maybe it's a X ultimate armor. Maybe I will build this one day in, uh, in another episode. Um, yeah, um, again. <laughs> uh, if you thought that that was enough, uh, you know, re-released three, two different consoles, uh, released in multiple versions. Um, yeah, well, guess what? There's more. Because <laughs> Mega Man X4 also came out on the PC. Uh, why does it not say Windows anyway? Yeah, this is one of those massive things. Um, I don't know why PC software, especially Windows software, comes in gigantic boxes like this. I mean, it, look look at this. It, it's even bigger than the Sega Saturn box. And, and, and they don't even need this gigantic thing because, well, inside here, all you get is <laughs> your registration card. But you also get the game. And yeah, the game, essentially the same game that you get, whether you get it on Saturn version or... Well, the Saturn version has a little bit of a different thing, a uh, different um, front cover, but yeah, it's essentially... It's exactly the same game, except that it is for Windows. Uh, the manual changes, uh, some of the art changes, but the game is essentially um the same and this manual has a little thing that i think it's important to also preserve microsoft sidewinder gamepad remember those anyone anybody remember sidewinder gamepad no well i do screw you <laughs> well yeah you thought that was enough well guess what there's more because the game was also released for the PC in Japan, published by this Ultra thing. Um, part of the history of Mega Man. All of all of this stuff that you are looking at right now happened. All of this was a thing. So yeah, again, essentially same game. I, I mean, if you compare the uh, back covers on Saturn, PlayStation. Japan PC, American PC. Let me just put this manual back in the in place. Um, yeah, they are again essentially the same thing. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the manual is actually very different. It doesn't just have the uh, sidewinder thing. Uh, it's essentially an instruction manual that doesn't really care. Let me look at all this lack of images okay there's some Im images at the end but yeah it's, it's even worse than the 
PlayStation manual. Um, but if you look at the Japanese version, look at how... I mean, it's still black and white. Okay, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. But first of all, they actually have instructions on how to install the game. And they have a lot more graphics and the text is... You know, this is way more creative than the PC version. I, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the fact that it was published by this company, Ultra, rather than... Uh, I don't know who made the PC version, to be honest. But... Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, wait, there is one more thing. Okay, technically I'm cheating with this one, but when the hell am I gonna get to talk about this? <laughs> this is the Mega Man X4 manga. In fact, it's the Mega Man X series part 5, but it's called Mega Man X4. I don't know, but yeah, there was a manga for Mega Man X4, of course. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, I only have this one in Japanese, and my Japanese is very, very limited, so I'm afraid I cannot show you or tell you much more about this, or how good it is, how bad it is. It just is. Uh, yeah. Um, this is something that happened. History of Mega Man. In front of you. Um... Yeah, now that's it. For, that's it. I, I promise it. There is not more. I mean, there is definitely a lot more because if you notice, I only have American and Japanese versions of the games. Uh, I'm missing every single European version, every single Chinese, Korean, Australian version, assuming those existed. I don't know if they did, but at this point, I don't have any of them. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so that's what happens when you are a collector. You have to accept that. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna end up with multiple versions of the same thing um, and like I said to me this actually matters to me it makes a difference so yeah hope you enjoyed that as always uh, if you appreciate me messing up my collection so that you can actually see it please uh, subscribe share like rate comment blah 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 uh, thank you very much and I'll see you around <laughs>